I recently renovated my sister's apartment. It's actually the main floor apartment in my own house. If you haven't had a chance to look at that makeover, you can find a link to it in the description below. One of the rooms that needed the most work was actually the bathroom. The original bathroom was not good. Here we are in the finished bathroom, and I'm going to tell you about where we saved money and where we spent money. Now, the layout to begin with was not great. We weren't tied to how it was before, so that wasn't a big problem for us, but we had to be creative with a smaller space. The first thing that we had to address was the lack of insulation. So in putting insulation, we had to change the square footage of the bathroom, which made it smaller. So now that it was gutted and we had addressed the insulation, the next was actually getting more heat into the bathroom. And for that, we decided to install underfoot heating through a new heat floor mat. Because we weren't dealing with a huge square footage, it's quite a small space. Even though underfloor heating can sometimes be considered a luxury, in this case, it just really made sense for the space. Another small splurge was the wallpaper in the bathroom. Again, because it's a small space, we didn't need a lot of it, but it has a big impact on the room, I think. Another important part was the fixtures. We wanted to have a vintage look to the bathroom, so we went with DXV, which does a really good job of producing new products that looks old. I loved the pedestal sink and this beautiful chrome faucet. We also used for the bath fixtures DXV, but we went with an American Standard tub, which is a little less expensive, but you don't notice it as much. It's a bit more utilitarian, so I felt it was better to splurge on things that you're really gonna notice. A definite save was the tile. There's a lot of tile in this bathroom, and I decided to go with subway tile and this pinwheel tile. These are like some of the cheapest tiles that you can get and I just got them from our local hardware store. But I love them because it goes with this heritage feel. We had this deep space behind the bathtub that we knew we wanted to put in a closet. And when we were looking at pricing out something custom, it was getting a little bit out of our budget. But again, I went to a box store and actually bought a kitchen cupboard and it just fit in nicely in that space. And we sort of wallpapered around it and it looks like it's custom. The next save, which you can tell is maybe a bit of a save, is the mirror. I got that at a garage sale for a whopping $5. Again, I love the vintageness of it. I love the etching on the mirror and a little bit of shape. I think the best thing to do when you're designing a bathroom is to design something that has longevity. I chose to go with sort of a vintage style because I felt it really suited our house. You know, if you love modern things or contemporary, you can go that way, but I just felt that this bathroom will always look good in this house because it looks like it belongs here. 